bomb blast on the island of Bali has killed at least 182 people in the worst terrorist attack since September the 11th. I had some power lines land on me that burnt on my shoulders and electro electrocuted me. I had a big pole across my legs. So one of the guys grabbed my arms and he went to pick me up and all the skin fell off in his hand. When I was put out the front next to this car, the car that I was next to caught on fire and it burnt all my back. So all my back is skin grafted. Uh, I was presumed dead, deceased, and I was, I was pushed away to where all the other deceased were and covered over with a sheet. A guy that I now know, uh, Clayton, saw my arm move under the sheet and uncovered me and got the doctors back to me. So where I was burnt, I was swelling and it was cutting blood supply, so they just, um, they were just cut open. Um, no anaesthetic or anything like that. Prior to the army coming, there was no painkillers or nothing. I had two Panadol put in a saline bag. Mind you, I had broken legs, I had compound fractures. I had burns to 85% of my body. I had a broken pelvis. My back was broken in four places. My arms were broken, I had a fractured skull. On top of that, shrapnel wounds everywhere. So. And I was the worst injured person, still alive in Bali at the time. And then your prosthetics require muscles to work, mainly your stomach muscles. Well, I've lost all my right hand side stomach muscles, so I had all odds against me. And um, they told me for months, you know, you'll never walk, don't bother trying, you can't talk, get used to a chair. I'm like, you know what, who are you to tell me that? Within a week, I was up walking in the rails, um, and I'd go in there every single day and just practice and practice and practice. I'm thinking, I'm gonna prove these doctors wrong. I went from, you know, 95 kilos fit from doing boxing to, 38 kilos with no muscle, no nothing. I was pretty crook. I ended up uh, being on crutches for about two years. Yes, I've been through this. Yes, this is how I am now. How am I gonna make my life better? What have I got to do? So I started going to the gym a fair bit and I, I, I saw a, a young bloke in the gym. I said, mate, your wheelchair, the frame is cracked and everything. He's like, yeah, yeah, I've got a couple of years before you know, that's covered again. Okay, no worries. So I went home, I got my old wheelchair, brought it in. Here you go, mate. And I gave him that, you know, and that, that sort of, you know, it, it gave him, you know, his mode of transport. Um, and it sort of gave me the determination to, to use my legs more. I guess at the end of the day, I could have just, you know, stayed laying in bed and not done anything. And it's like, oh, what about me? But you know, I've, I've always had the drive to get out and do stuff and be active and try different things. And I think when someone tells you, you can't do any, you can't do something, what it done for me, it gave me more drive to prove them wrong. Um, you know, like with the walking, um, with golf, someone said, oh, you'd fall over if you swung a golf club. It's like, yeah, righto see how we go so you know and that that brought on the golf side of things it's all about hanging out with friends meeting new people having a good time smiles on faces being active um, you know an active lifestyle is healthy um, not just for your body but for your mind as well and uh, empower golf was four months old it was a brand new company it's a not-for-profit charity and they support multi-disabilities to get into golf. I thought, this is really, really cool. So we set up our first clinic at Noosa. Uh, that was 10 years ago. And um, I absolutely loved it. You know, you learn so much off so many different disabilities. It's like everybody in life. You know, everybody has something they can teach you. We've got 98 PGA professional golfers that, that work for us, 3,000 clients and we've introduced over 50,000 disabled to the game of golf. Everybody has something that you can learn something from. Um, and you know, there's nothing wrong with learning. Like my table that I come with and stuff. <laughs> and put my drinks on it. <laughs>